welcome back to Topless Bake. All right, more Christmas recipes this week. Yes, I feel like every day is Christmas in December. So today we are gonna make, not a Christmas tree, edible ornaments to go on a Christmas tree. Now baubles are great, lights are fantastic, but I love things that can go on the tree that I can eat. So we're gonna make a delicious little orange cookie that has a stained glass window. They look so good and you can eat them. So what we're gonna start off with is a cookie recipe which has soft butter, cast sugar, light brown sugar. We're gonna add that into our stand mixer and we're gonna beat it for about two minutes until it's really nice and fluffy. So I'm just gonna scrape those in and then I'm gonna put my mixer down and I'm jingling a bit today. I don't know if you can see I've got baubles on my reindeer ears. So if you hear me jingling, that's my ears. And we're gonna beat this for a couple minutes. All right, oh, it's still going. It's looking good. Now I'm gonna add an egg and I'm gonna add some orange zest. Now the reason I make edible ornaments, it's a good story. One year I had a little chocolate. We always hang chocolates from our tree. And one year I went to eat the chocolate. I said, like, yes, there's still a chocolate left. No one's eating it. And I realized it was still there from the year before. Someone had taken out the decoration box. So uh, yeah, the chocolate was a little bit out of date. So I make edible ornaments now so that I know I've got fresh biscuits from my tree and I don't eat out of date chocolate. Now, it's an orange cookie. I love orange. I've got some on the table, but that's okay. I think orange is a nice like festiveness to go with the cookie. So we're gonna give that little beat just until the egg is incorporated and then we can add, oh, some vanilla as well. And then we will add in our dry ingredients. So just give that little beat until the egg is combined. So now what we're gonna add is our dry ingredients. So I've got flour and baking powder in here. I'm gonna add that in and I'm just gonna mix it until the dough is combined. It should create quite a soft dough, but that's okay because I've got a little bit of a hack for you. So my dough has come together nicely now. It smells really Christmassy, which is what we want. And usually if you make a cookie dough, you have to roll it into a ball, you've got to chill it for like hours. It's a bit of a faff, isn't it? Yeah, you know it's a faff. But what we're gonna do is we're actually gonna roll our dough out now and then we're gonna chill it. And because you've rolled it out, it makes it super duper quick to chill. So I'm gonna throw it onto some parchment paper like that. I'm gonna pack it into the middle like this. And then I'm gonna take another piece of parchment. I'm gonna lay that over the top. And then I'm just gonna roll this out until it's about the thickness of a pound coin. Now, as a good home baker, I hope you've got a rolling pin in your house to roll this out. I forgot mine. Really, honestly, I don't actually have a rolling pin in this house right now. So, don't do this at home because it can be a little bit dangerous, but I'm gonna roll it with a bottle of Campari. And I'm gonna be really careful because if I smash this, I'm gonna be in a pickle. So I'm just gonna roll this until it's kind of thin, but yeah, use a rolling pin. Don't use alcohol. Not bad, hey? Now, once you've successfully rolled that out, which I managed to do, I'm quite happy, you go back now. We're gonna put this in the fridge, 10 to 20 minutes. What you're looking for is for the dough to be really set and hard. So when you pull out the fridge, it should be flat, like a tray. So I'm gonna lift this guy up, I'm gonna put it in the fridge, and I will see you shortly. So that's a pancake, that's what you want. I actually put mine in the freezer for five minutes as well, just to speed things up. So what I'm gonna do now, I can just hear myself jingling. What I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna whip off this paper, like that. And then it's really important now that you flour everything. And I've got a bunch of different cookie cutters here. I've got a Christmas tree, I've got stars, some other stars, whatever you can get. Whatever you wanna decorate, your tree with. So I'm just gonna flour the top of my dough a little bit, and then I'm gonna take a really big star cookie cutter. I'm gonna flour that as well. And then I'm just gonna cut out a nice big shape like that. And then you wanna pull off your cookie cutter, take a spatula or something, and I'm gonna really carefully and lift it onto your tray. And then because we're making what would I call this? Are we making stained glass windows? That was what I called it, if I can remember. I'm gonna take another cookie cutter. I'm gonna cut out the center of my biscuit. So again, I'm gonna flour this, and then I'm just gonna align the stars again. I'm gonna cut out the center of this cookie. 
And then once you've got that center out, you can bake these as well. So keep those and bake them because they're like little biscuits you can eat later. And then the stained glass window. So what you need to make the stained glass window is Jolly Ranchers. So these are Jolly Ranchers or in England they call them Glacier Mints and you want to get little colored ones. So I've got a purpley, a red and an orange and then chop them up and just sprinkle them into the center of that little hole you've created. And what they'll do is they'll melt down so that when they bake you're left with this lovely smooth little window that you can look through. So I filled that up. I'm going to keep cutting out loads of shapes and I'm going to fill a tray full of biscuits. So I've just finished my last cookie and look at this. Our Christmas tree in the top of the Spoken Kitchen is pretty naked. So I'm ready to bake these so that we can decorate the tree. And these are going to go in the oven for about eight to 10 minutes, all right? We're looking for them to be golden brown around the outside for that candy to have melted completely. And then as soon as they come out of the oven, we've got to be ready to go because there's one more little step. So be ready to go when they come out of the oven. So our biscuits have just come out of the oven. They look Good, and they're just fresh out of the oven, and this is important, all right? You can't leave them to cool yet, because what we need to do is we need to create little holes in the top, because we need holes so that we can hang them from our tree. So I'm gonna take, you should take a toothpick or something. I don't know why I'm using this, but I'm gonna take this, and I'm just gonna push a little hole in the top of the biscuit, like this. And then I'll be able to fit my little Christmas cookie hanger perfectly through it. Now, if you're using ribbon or something to tie them to your tree, you might want to make the hole a little bit bigger, but because I'm using little metal hooks, I only need quite a small hole. So just make the hole as big as you think you need it for whatever your tying material is going to be. I have just put the holes into all my biscuits. Look how cute they are. Look at that little window. You can tap it. It's solid. So let's get over the tree. You've been hiding back there all episode. Come here. Come on. Hey, so now what we've got to do is we've just got to hang these off the tree. If you're really skilled, and I'm not skilled in this area, you could do royal icing and you could decorate these with like zigzags or something. I'm so bad at decorating cookies, so I'm not going to do that. I'm just going to leave them plain. But if you've got the skills, you should do it. So I'm going to take my little hook. I'm going to feed it through the hole that I just made. And then I'm going to hang it off my tree. Oh my goodness! Yes! Look at that! I'm so happy. Right, let's carry on. I'm going to do it with the stained glass window ones as well. Get through there. Pick it up. Oh no, wrong way. This way. And there we have it. Look at that! You can tell. I'm really excited. I'm really happy. So if you run out of baubles, if the shop have sold out, or if you just don't want a traditional Christmas, or you want some just tasty treats for your tree, you should definitely bake these. And honestly, the cookies are my favorite cookie recipe. So this isn't a cookie that's like, oh, it looks good, but it doesn't taste good. It tastes unbelievable. It's my favorite cookie. So really hope you guys enjoyed this one. Lots of exciting Christmas videos coming on the Topless Baker channel, so you've got to stay tuned. And of course, if you make the edible ornaments, don't forget to tag me. You've got to wear the hat. It makes your baking skills better. I promise you. I'll see you guys next week for more Topless Baker goodness. Bye!